Well, howdy there, nerds. All right, I had to re-record this because the first time I was completely out of it. So, hopefully I can buckle down and actually get this going. This next take will be the correct one. I'm very sorry, guys. I'm incredibly tired and in trying to work through this, but things have not been going great. So, anyways, let's just start. Let's go. Let's see what we got, shall we? So, welcome to the next Fire Emblem Heroes seasonal banner that, of course, is Valentine's Day. And with it, we're going to be getting a bunch of units that are all from the Radiance games. But that is not all. You're going to be getting a free variant of Titania. We'll be talking about her a little bit later towards the end of the video. But if you're interested in your free unit, there you guys go. All right. So let's take a look at everyone that's coming. I kind of already know what's happening, but uh, hey, look, guys. It's finally time. The sun is a stubborn pup. But I guess I'm the one who made him that. So Grail is coming to us this time as a green axed armored unit, and he's trying to offer you a flower. Will you take said flower? <laughs> All right, so let's see here. So with Grail, you're going to be getting a lot of things, and I'm sure a lot of you are probably seeing that golden border there, but uh, Faithful Axe is coming to you this time. He's not getting his axe from the game, of course. He's a seasonal variant, but Faithful Axe, and I'm pretty sure doesn't, doesn't uh, Brave Ike already have his? Uh, either way. Faithful Axe Plus, and that means it's inheritable, and with it, we're getting the whole ability to grant attack, speed, defense, and res plus three during combat as long as they are adjacent to an ally. And you're going to be seeing this pattern a lot throughout this trailer. So, with all of this, pretty great. That's actually a really nice weapon. Can be inherited. That's some pretty nice skill inheritance. That's not including, of course, Fury 4, which I'm sure you're all seeing. And that is attack, speed, defense, and res plus four during combat, but afterwards, he's, of course, going to take eight damage. Fury 4 is a little bit, you know, a lot of people are probably freaking out about this, but let me just say real quick, Fury 4 as a whole is quite, uh, it's not terrible, it's not, um, you know, it's not as crazy an impact as probably sturdy impact, but it's decently good. I, I'll say that, it's, it's good. <laughs> he also has Wary Fighter and Armor March, which will be very nice for those armored units out there, or armored emblem units that uh, might need a solid armored march. Honestly, Grail looks pretty great. I'm pretty happy to see him in the game. And all in all, pretty fantastic. He also is offering you a flower. It a gift. It's his flower. He's trying to give you his flower, folks. All right, Soren. <laughs> I have to say, looks quite beautiful. Ike's boyfriend's finally available. I have no problem with working. I just expect to be compensated for it. <laughs> now... The one thing I will say about the two seasonal variants, at least, that are the tome-based Cavaliers, this is something that's kind of just happened with the other Valentine's Day banner, is that uh, they definitely have a lot of great skill inheritance abilities. Uh, the Bloom spells, at least from what I can tell, seem to be a pretty nice replacement. I wouldn't say an all-out replacement to Owl Tomes, but they will be something that will be quite useful for those units who maybe have a little bit more bulk and maybe could use certain abilities. <laughs> uh, this is going to be great for certain characters. Honestly, I could... I could really go for Halloween Henry with, uh, you know, Miss ability, but just so we're clear, all the weapons, very, very similar, all have the same ability. However, Soren has Rally, Attack, and Speed Plus, which is insane, which means that already I'm seeing many, many deaths for poor, poor Soren. Attack and Res Bond 3. Nice stuff, nice, nice stuff. If unit is adjacent to an ally, grants Attack and Res plus 5. Ah, cool. Also, Speed Faint, which I'm, you know... You're already rallying attack and speed. Might as well debuff your enemies in cardinal directions, right? And then, of course, res opening, which is his new ability, and will be quite profitable, at least on those really powerful res tanks. I just don't know how well that's going to go compared to, say, speed opening or attack opening. Those abilities are quite, quite powerful, although I, I'm pretty sure res will find its way into someone's build. All right. Moving on from there, let's take a look at the next unit, shall we? Also this. That's a really beautiful, like, I just like that artwork. Now, I'm gonna say the something real quick. has a lot of expenses that make shopping for everyone pretty difficult. For some reason, I kept calling Mist Mia before, but this is Mist, and I still am going to say what I said before. She looks absolutely beautiful in this one, and I was waiting for her to actually get a solid alt that didn't regulate her, or re relegate her, not regulate her, relegate her to, you know, just kind of being a staff unit that people kind of hate seeing when they pop up in colorless. She looks fantastic. Also, um, Grandblooms 
exactly the same as before. That is going to be a very nice weapon. I, I hate to say that because I really want to try her out, but I also want to try that on uh, Halloween Henry. That's something that I'm going to be going through a lot during this whole banner, guys, because a lot of these units have really great skill inheritance. Uh, Rally, Defense, and Res Plus, because why not? She also has Res Faint, which apparently is a thing that I didn't know didn't exist. Is that really? Okay, well, either way. Res Faint 3. Pretty nice stuff right there. Uh, also, Green Tome Valor, I, 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 I'll I take it. I mean, we need more access to that. Honestly, though, IS, if you're going to keep doing this, please, please, please release these on actual characters that aren't just seasonal. I mean, I love seeing Mist as a variant, but, uh, you know, it would be nice to have that on a easier-to-obtain pool, is all I'm saying. But still, Green Tome Valor, cool. All right. Honestly, all of these units have really great potential abilities, and I can't wait to see them in-game. And see them useful, and how useful they're gonna be when it comes... See them useful. I'm really good at English right now, I'm very sorry. Thinking I am out of it. With my father gets my blood pumping. So it comes to us this time, his first actual seasonal alt, without, you know, anything else. And with that, he's an armored unit. Yeah, that's an armored unit, alright. And he actually has a pretty beautiful sword, too. <laughs> alright. Now, I don't think we really have to explain this. Ike has Heart's Blade, which is really, really nice. And this is exactly what you would think it is based on what the other weapons are. But that's not the whole package. Radiant Aether is something legendary Ike already has. So having this as, you know, his special skill is something that's really quite nice. Just adds a cherry on top to the already amazing skill set that he has. Distant Counter already built in, so you don't have to worry about that. He already can take advantage of his weapon if you feel necessary. Special Fighter, which means that Ike is going to at least have some speed to be able to use this reliably, and that is even further proven by his Even Speed Wave 3. So all in all, this Ike right here, quite hefty, quite powerful, and probably the highlight of the banner next to Grail. Um, I will say, in the whole, Ike is probably the stronger one that I would go for. But, uh, I'm... Let's just listen real quick. Let's see what he says. Don't bother thanking me. Oh. Wow, that was rude. But anyways. <laughs> Alright, so there's the paralogue story and everything that's coming with this, guys. I hope you're ready for this. Alright, but we also have to talk about Titania. Titania is going to be available as the next Tempest Trial Plus unit. And as you can see there, she is a Cavalier... Tome unit. So the most likely option here, the most likely chance that you're going to be, you know, able to understand this is, <laughs> I'm just trying to say is that she's probably going to have the uh, equivalent tome to, you know, Soren and Mist, because obviously they have that tome effect, you know. Uh, so I'm expecting her to have Rar Blossoms or whatever it's called, which means that we'll have the whole complete set. And that makes a lot of sense. This whole banner seems to be based around bonding, being, you know, close to ones you love, and that makes a lot of sense. And, you know, which doesn't make as much sense. I should be up more towards Soren. I'm just saying right there. But <laughs> nonetheless, that is your banner, guys. And for me, when it, can <laughs> when it comes down to units that I really, really want, I gives the easiest option to really go with for me. He has, you know, great set of abilities, already has distant counter built in. You don't need to worry about that. And, you know, uh, special fighter mixed in with even speed wave. Really, you can't really go wrong with that. But everyone else seems to have some ability that would be really quite useful to not only use themselves, but also be fodderable. You know, rally, swift sparrows, faints, all of them are intense. And that is quite great. Just amazing. Res opening, which I'm not, I'm still kind of wondering about, but, you know, faints, rallies, Bonds, everything you can think of, they're all meant to be together. But my highlights for me are Grail, of course, right there, as well as Ike. And, well, <laughs> I'm really impressed by everything. But I, the debate here for you guys now is which banner you're going to go for. Do you want to go for this one, which is going to be this Valentine's banner? Uh, we also have last year's Valentine's Day banner coming out. But we also have the big, big, big banner coming out on the 24th, which is going to be filled with units that we voted for, and will most likely have a lot of potential there as well. So your choices are up to you. I want to know what you guys are going for. And yes, I did re-record re this because I was loopy as hell before. I do apologize. Anyways, 
Catch you nerds later. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon. Do tell me who you're summoning for. Bye bye